I've always said that I like my chai like I like my women, smoking hot, strong, and just a little bit sweet. I hope that's what we got going on right here. Hi everybody, welcome back to Follow Me, I'm a Foodie India. Today we are in Lucknow and we are going to be eating at some of the most epic places here. So we're starting breakfast with Costa, then we're gonna go for chai tea. After that, we're gonna have open air restaurant for meat heaven. We're gonna have nahari, then we're gonna have biryani, then we're gonna have tande kebabs. This thing is gonna go on and on and on. This is gonna be an epic day. Let's go do it. We're starting this tour at Durga Costa Corner for one of Lucknow's most famous breakfasts. The process they use to make the costa is fascinating. They start by stuffing fresh balls of dough with a dal mixture. The next step is to roll the dough flat to spread out the dal evenly on the inside. Now it's time to drop it into the fryer and this is where the magic happens. The cook stirs the pot continuously to keep the costa from sticking together or burning. And once it's golden brown, it gets mixed just a few more times before they pull it out and serve it up. This looks so good, stuffed with goodness. I think I'm gonna try it with a chickpea first. Let's go. Mm. Watching them stuff the inside of this got me so excited to eat. I love when there's a little surprise in every bite. They said this is doll, and I absolutely love doll, so let's try it by itself first. <laughs> so crunchy. This is a really amazing contradiction of textures here. You have the costa, which is so, so crunchy. I mean, extremely crunchy. Then you have the chickpea that's been brought down to almost like a paste. The inside of this has a lot of flavor, but the chickpea is where it's at. The levels of flavor this provides is just outstanding. It's spicy, it's creamy, it's crunchy, it's fresh. This has been absolutely incredible, but now it's time to try the trifecta. That is costa, potato, and then get a little bit of this chickpea mixture, put the top back on, and get it. Mmm, mmm. So good. We just watched them make this jalebi. It is still piping hot. They start with a dough in a cloth and they just put it straight into the oil, making these beautiful swirls. Once that bubbles up and is ready and cooked, then they dunk it in some rose water syrup. It smells so, so good. These are tiny compared to what we've seen before. I bet that adds a lot of crunch. Let's try it. Oh my God. This is like as crunchy as a potato chip. I still can't get used to the idea of jalebi for breakfast, but that's completely silly because in the US we eat donuts and pancakes and French toast and all kinds of stuff. It's just in my head because it looks kind of like candy, but I love jalebi and we're not about to pass up an opportunity to have it 10 seconds old. Let's do it. Mmm, 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 mmm. Man, that just melts me. This is so crunchy. And it's not as sweet as I thought it would be. I guess because these are a lot thinner, it doesn't absorb as much of that syrup, but it is still sweet and delicious. I love how thin and crispy it is. One difference I noticed from other jalebis I've had is that it is not just like bursting with syrup. And I wonder if it's because they're cranking this out so fast that it doesn't have a chance to sit in the syrup for like hours and absorb. It doesn't need it though, because the crispiness gives it a completely different flavor from what I've had before. And you still get the syrup, so it's like the perfect combination of everything. I love that this is not overpoweringly sweet. You just get that amazing crunchy texture, a little bit of sweet on the inside. It makes it to where we can probably eat this whole bowl. If it was very sweet, I don't know how much we could eat. But this is really delicious. I love how hot and warm it is. I love how crunchy it is and the syrup is just on point. This is amazing. You guys told us to try hot jalebi forever. We've got to do it a few times now, and you were right. It is 10 times better hot, and this is really great jalebi here in Lucknow. After an amazing breakfast, we are heading to have some chai at the most famous spot in Lucknow. I cannot wait. Right behind me is the Sharmaji Chai Center and this place is one of the most famous stops in all of Lucknow. It starts with the buffalo milk, then they add clove, then they add the chai and all of the other amazing spices to just make this so mouthwatering delicious. Let's go try it out. We finally made it and I'm so excited because this has been on my bucket list for quite a while. One of the things I have learned about my love of chai in India is that when it has buffalo milk, that just throws the flavor over the top. So let's try this. Mm. 
we got it with sugar and it is nice and sweet and so creamy because of that buffalo milk. That is so good. I love how forward that chai flavor is. This is like a strong, really wake me up, great pick me up chai. And I love how big it is too. A lot of times you get a tiny little cup. Give me the chai when I'm in India, man. This is delicious. I've always said that I like my chai like I like my women, smoking hot, strong, and just a little bit sweet. I hope that's what we got going on right here. Mmm, that is so good. But it is really, really hot. I don't know how you guys do that. I mean, it's so delicious that you want to just take a drink as soon as you get it. But I don't know how you have any taste buds left. In fact, I've got a new theory. I think the reason that Indian food has so much spice and heat and so much flavor is because from a kid, you're just burning your taste buds off and you just gotta pack it in there. This is amazing. This is one of the best chais I have ever had. Sharma did not disappoint. It absolutely lived up to its reputation. One of the best cups of chai I've had ever. That was some spectacular chai and now we're going somewhere equally as famous. We're headed to Royal Cafe where they make a basket shot that has a reputation all over India. Let's go eat some amazing chai. I'm getting to check off another food bucket list item and I couldn't be more excited. This basket shot is so loaded. There's tikka, there's chickpea, then it's got all kinds of different sauces like tamarind and mint chutney. It's got pomegranate, onions, almonds. This thing is just loaded with so many things that I couldn't tell you all of it if I tried. I'm gonna try and break this thing down. Wow, there's even more as I'm opening it up. I'm gonna get a bite right from the middle here. Make sure I get a bunch of this amazing stuff. Cheers. Mmm. Oh my gosh. Mmm. I don't even know where to start. There are so many things on this plate. I'm gonna try to just dive into the middle and then scoop some of this crunch from the outside. Let's try it. Mmm. That is so good. The tikka at the bottom of that is incredible. The basket itself is so crunchy and delicious. And then the thing that makes this shine is that incredible tamarind and mint chutney. And then you mix all those other flavors and textures into it. And my mouth is watering so much that I can barely talk. Like I'm worried that I'm gonna spit all over joy because I'm just salivating right now. This is so much better than I even expected it to be. This is nuts. Oh my gosh. I love the spice, the lemon. I love all of the fresh vegetables that are in there that little punch from the pomegranate the spicy 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 from the chili and then the dried fruit and the nuts that they put on top is amazing this is world famous for a reason i absolutely understand it we have now had chat all over india this is the single best chat i have ever had in my life if you were in luck now do not miss this We are at Open Air Restaurant and they are obviously known for their kebabs if you can't see all of them hanging behind me. They have so many different kinds. This is absolutely meat heaven. We cannot wait to eat. We are going to try a lot of food here today. Of all the things we're eating today, this is one of the places that I was the most excited about. I absolutely love Indian barbecue and that's what these guys are famous for. We got Afghani chicken, we got some Sikh kebab, we got chicken tikka, we got chicken masala. This is going to be an amazing meal. I'm going to start with this Afghani chicken. I've already sprayed it up with some lime, dip it in some mint chutney here. Let's get our first bite. Mm. That is so tender and juicy. This Afghani chicken looks amazing. There's so many spices. You can see them on the outside. I'm going to try it by itself before I add anything to it. Mm. Mm. The outside has a little bit of spice. That mint chutney gives it a great mint flavor, but also a little bit of a kick. It doesn't look like much on the outside. It just looks like it's been grilled. But the amount of seasoning that they put on it, it's not over the top. It just is perfect. And the way it settles into the chicken, that chicken too is nice and creamy. The chicken is so delicious. It just falls right off whenever you're taking a bite. It is really, really amazing chicken. I've had Afghani chicken that was covered in sauce, but I've never had it in a way that it was marinated in that. 
It gives it a totally new and different flavor. You really taste the smoke and everything else. Absolutely incredible. I wasn't sure what to think about it because you think, you know, it's just marinated with some spices. It's gonna be kind of all right, but this is really good. After some of the most amazing chicken I've ever had, it is time to get to the mutton. This is a mutton seat kebab, and this thing looks absolutely incredible. I am excited about this. I love mutton. I think seat kebabs is absolutely one of the best ways to eat it. So, little mint chutney, little bit of onion. Let's try this out. Mmm. That's incredible. Mmm. That put me into a stupor for a second. The seat kebab smells delicious. I'm gonna put some lime on here because I know this always kicks up the flavor and flavor is what I'm here for. This has amazing flavor. I gotta get another bite. This time I'm going to try it with some of this pickled onion here. So it's pickled, it's also got masala and something that makes it bright red. Hope it's spicy. Mmm. Mmm. Guys, this is just heaven. Heaven that got cooked on a stick and then put into my mouth. It's so soft on the inside and then has a little crunch on the outside. And I think that's because they slow cook it over very low coals before they put it onto the fire. And that just adds these amazing textures to it. This has a little bit of spice. It's like the sneaky spice that just kind of comes in and kicks you in the back of the throat. And I really, really like that. This is delicious. I don't think it needs anything else. That little dash of lime bumped up the flavors. This is so good. Definitely some of the best seat kebabs I have ever had. You taste the smoke, you taste the meat, you taste all of those different flavors mixed in. This is unbelievable. Our next dish is chicken tikka, and this is the thing that I'm the most excited about here. They marinate this chicken for quite some time, and then they lay it on hot, smoking coals. They get all of that smoke in there, get this chicken nice and juicy and smoky. Let's try it. I'm gonna pull a piece of this off. It just falls apart. There's no pulling involved. This looks so good, so tender, so juicy. Let's try it. Are you kidding me? This is so good. The first time I had chicken tikka is the moment that I realized that Indian food had so much more than just curry, that it had depth, that they were masters at everything, not just sauces. And I am excited to get to do it in India at one of the most famous places for it. This chicken tikka looks so good. It literally falls apart. You know I gotta dip it in this mint. Oh, this is what I've been dreaming of. Mm. Mm. That is some of the softest, most tender, amazing chicken I have ever placed in my mouth. The flames from that grill just lock in all the seasoning, all the amazing juices, and just make this so perfect. I love the char on the outside. I love how it is infused with smoke. This is absolutely delicious. The more I eat this, the more smoke I pick up. One of my favorite things about eating chicken tikka is its actual chicken breast. And so there's no bones. There's no picking anything out. It is just perfection that you can chew and close your eyes and dance a little bit because it is so absolutely delicious. I hope we saved the best for last. This is chicken masala. This is tandoori chicken. And then they cut it up into little pieces, cover it in masala, cook it on that tawa and just get it nice and delicious looking. We're having it with some paratha and uh, I can't wait. This stuff is literally legendary and luck now and beyond. People in Delhi were telling us that when we came here, we had to try this exact dish. I'm so excited right now. Mmm. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It is spicy, tender, mixed with that paratha. It is just incredible. That has so much flavor. I mean, this is a full-blown flavor overload. The chicken is just divine. That chicken, again, so juicy and tender. I don't know how they do this with everything, but these guys are on point every single time. I'm gonna try it with some of this amazing paratha. It's so flaky on the outside. And as I'm pulling it apart, I can tell that it's still nice and doughy in the middle. Let me add this to it. Scoop up what I can and then get into this mint chutney. Oh my God. This is one of the best chicken dishes I've ever had in my life. The chicken itself is not like the absolute best I've ever had. 
but when you mix it with this masala, with this green chutney, with this paratha, and you put all of those flavors together, it is a match made in heaven, and it elevates the flavor of what you've got here so high that I think I can crown this the best chicken dish I have ever had, no matter what country, no matter how it's cooked. This is really incredible. Mm, fantastic. We just made it to the number one requested stop on this tour. When we asked you guys where we should come, this is where you told us to come. We're at Idris Biryani. So I have some really bad news, guys. We came to Idris Biryani to try some of this famous Lucknow Biryani, and they are sold out for the day. All they've got left is korma. So I know there's got to be more than one good biryani place in this town. We are going to find it. Let's go try and do it. We figured out we were eating biryani, but it is all the way across town. So on the way, we stopped at Rahim's where we are having kulcha and nahari, and this looks and smells so good. Man, this kulcha is so fluffy. I would love to just eat this, but I'm gonna eat this right. And let's dip this in here all together, get a little bit of this mutton. The mutton is just kind of falling off of the bone on here, and I'm really excited about that. There's some chilies on top of this. Let me get one of those. Oh yeah. Mmm. Oh my gosh. One of the best bites I've had all day. It's really amazing how many things Lucknow is famous for. I feel like everywhere we go, we're talking about how famous something is. This is another one of those things. I have heard that this is one of the most famous Nahadis in all of India. And so let's find out why. I, I'm so interested. This is another thing that we've never had before. Never had kulcha or Nahadi. Let's see what the combination is like. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my goodness. That just slowed down time. This is so delicious. The fluffy, fluffy bread, the delicious, supple, tender mutton, and then the spices that they have on top. It seems like they just put a little bit of spice on it, but it's got chilies and then cilantro and just pulls all of the flavors of the gravy forward. This is so delicious. I cannot wait to get more of this. I understand why it is so, so famous. This is amazing. That gravy is just beautiful. I don't know what else to say. It has so much richness, but it's also super silky. It's got spice, and then that oil on top just brings kind of everything together because it coats your tongue and the top of your mouth just perfectly. You throw on top of that this culture, which is my new favorite bread. I think it's even better than naan, and you just have like the combination of a lifetime. This is absolutely Unbelievable. I am kind of flabbergasted. This is amazing. I cannot get enough of this. I would love to know what's in this so I could have Chad make it for me. This is so, so good. I could eat this all day long. Like if I had one thing that I could eat for the rest of my life, I would be good with this. This makes my heart happy. This makes my tummy happy. This is incredible. We had no intention of ordering anything but Nahari and culture because that's what they're so famous for. And then we saw this Shamar. And I was just like, what makes it orange? What's it taste like? I gotta know. We asked what they ate it with, and they said, you gotta have some kebabs. So we ordered some chicken kebabs. They brought chopped masala. So let's load this bad boy up. And I think that you're just supposed to take part of it and then grab some kebab. And let's dip it in a little bit of this mint chutney. And it's got curd with it. Let's try it. Mmm. Mmm. That has so many different flavors going on. I normally like to try everything by itself to kind of pick out its own distinct flavor, but that flavor bomb of a bite that Chad had is what I am going for. Let's dip it in this chutney here. Mm-hmm. Yes. Oh my gosh, that's so good. That is nice and spicy, still fresh. And this chicken just melts in your mouth but has a perfect little crunch on the outside from where it's been sizzling over the fire. So the shamal still tastes very much like the culture did, but you get like a hint of like saffron or maybe cardamom, I'm not really sure. There's just a little bit of sweetness there that differentiates it from the other one. The chicken is amazing. 
and then you mix it with all of this curd and the mint chutney and everything else that's got going on here. And this is absolutely incredible. The charmala is just a little bit sweet and I really like that. It almost reminds me of some of the same flavors I pick up in chai and that is delicious. But the seasoning on this chicken, I don't know what it is, but it is blowing my mind. It's not just a little bit of something on top. It tastes like not only they have been marinating it, but after they cooked it, they put some more flavor on it. I don't know how they did this, this is crazy, crazy delicious. I'm so glad we got more food here. That was an incredible stop at Rahim's. Now we're heading to Aminabad to have some tande kebabs and some biryani at Wahid Biryani. Let's go. I'm starting to feel like a broken record, but guess what? We are at another really famous Lucknow place. This is Tande Kebab, and this is famous literally worldwide. They take this minced mutton, they throw it on the hot tawa, they cover it in ghee, and just cook it and cook it, crisp it on the outside, keep it really nice and soft on the inside. And the story for that is really funny. A king, a long time ago, wanted to eat kebabs, but he didn't have the teeth to chew it. So he asked somebody to make him one, and a guy with one arm came up with a recipe that the king could eat. Now in Hindi, tandi means one arm, so that's how the tande kebab thing came to be, and now it is one of the most sought after things in all of Lucknow. Wow, you just pick this paratha up and pick up this mutton paste, and it is really, really interesting the texture in there. I cannot wait to try this. This may be the most famous thing I've ever eaten. Mmm. It's so good. But the texture throws me off. I'm having rumali roti with my tande kebab and look at this huge paper thin piece. I thought it was just gonna rip apart when I picked it up, but it is so nice. Oh yeah, that looks beautiful. Man, the other roti is a lot more dense, so I'm glad we're getting to try multiple kinds. Let me get some of this kebab in here. Let's try it. Mmm. That's so good. I love the spice on this. It's so soft, it's almost like meat mashed potatoes. And that sounds weird, but it tastes good. It just takes a minute for your mind to understand what you're eating. I also love the spice in this particular kebab. The paratha here is also amazing. You throw that onion in. I mean, the whole thing is just a really, really nice flavor. I love the textures and the flavors. You would think minced meat, no thank you. But when it comes to this, this is delicious. It's so good on the inside and I love the crunch on the outside and then mixing it with this really paper thin roti is just amazing, adding all the different textures in there. The flavor is incredible. Do not pass on this if you get the opportunity to try it. I understand why these guys have a line outside that never stops because this is one of the most unique and tasty kebabs we've ever had. Once you get past the texture and just focus on the flavor, this is really hard to beat. I love streets like this where there are so many options. We literally walked 10 feet next door to Wahid. We're here for biryani. I've been waiting all day. Let's go do it. We finally found it. We have got some Lucknow biryani. This is one of the main reasons that we are in Lucknow. This here is a mutton biryani. It came on big bones and we just pulled them right off the bone. They kind of fell apart and we've got that sprinkled all over our plate now. So I'm gonna get a piece of mutton here with this rice. That button is out of this world good. I really panicked when Idris was at a biryani, but we found a really good spot. We're at Wahid and we're eating mutton biryani. I'm so glad that we found something before they closed. It would have been so terrible if we'd have missed out on this amazing treat of Lucknow biryani. Mmm. Mmm. That mutton melts in your mouth like butter. This is the most tender mutton I've ever had. We just ate tandy kebabs, and this feels just as soft. I'm amazed at how tender this is. I can't say enough good things about this. I'm really glad we finally found it. I'm so glad we're here. The flavor oozing out of every single fiber of this mutton is amazing. The rice is amazing. The seasoning is different than we had in a lot of other biryanis, but it's absolutely phenomenal. I really like this. This has a lot of saffron in it. I really taste that 
and the mutton though is the star of the show. It is the king of the castle and it is really, really nice. At this point we have had biryani from all over India and it's also different. There's some that's a little bit floral. There's some that has a ton of seasoning and flavor inside the rice. This one is all about the meat. The mutton is holding on to that flavor. It is so juicy and just kind of spreads that seasoning throughout the rest of it. This is so amazing. There's no better way to end any kind of food tour than with an Indian dessert, and that's exactly what we're doing. We have a kulfi at the bottom here, a saffron vermicelli, and then a regular vermicelli sprinkled with rose water. This looks so good. By the way, the ice cream, but um, so I bet this is gonna be really, really nice. Mm. I am so excited to eat Padam again. It has become one of my favorite all-time desserts. It is so amazing. Let's get into this kulfi with a little vermicelli. Mm. That's so good. Whether it's piping hot milk or this amazing kofi, I love that badam. We recently had badam milk for the very first time in Bangalore and it was absolutely amazing. How they transferred that flavor into a kofi, I don't know, but this is really, really good. I love the little nuts that are in there. Gives it such a perfect crunch. Those are shaved almonds, so it's not a huge hearty crunch. Just a tiny little bite. And then the saffron and this vermicelli kind of helps calm the flavors of everything as well. So, so amazing. We love that so much that we decided to get a stick coffee. This was kind of cool. They had the thing in this little cooler. They pulled it out, stuck it in some hot water, banged on it a few times, passed it around, stuck a stick in it, gave it to me in a little thing so it won't melt everywhere. Such a genius way to do it. I really, really like this ice cream. I am loving this spot. I understand why it went from chalk to here in this really nice setup. This is really good ice cream. That was such an amazing food tour in Lucknow. It is definitely one of our best to date. There were so many things that we got to try for the first time and so many that were just epically good. What was your favorite? It was so hard to choose because like you said, so many of them so we had for many. the very first time today. I loved that basket chop so, so much. Me too. But when it came down to it, the Nahari is what did it for me. Man, I could just soak that up and eat that all day, forever. That was amazing. I knew that was coming. When <laughs> I saw you take that first bite, you literally melted, and I was like, yep, there's her winner. <laughs> That's the one. What about you? <laughs> for me, it has to be the chicken masala. I loved the basket shot. I loved the kebabs. I loved so many of the things that we had today, but at the end of the day, it's gotta be the biggest burst of flavor, and mine came from open air restaurant with that chicken masala. It was just epic. It was epic. <laughs> the whole day was epic. The food was incredible. I'm so sad that we only have one day in luck now, but I'm so glad that we got to come. Definitely, we loved this. We hope you guys did too. If you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on those notifications so you can see the next video coming out. Bye. Bye.